Joining me now is eCapital News Director Sean Ashley, who has been covering the week's events at the state capitol. Sean, the first week of the special session has come to a close. How much work remains for lawmakers? There's really not that much left for them to do. Uh, this past week, uh, the House took up 12 bills and, and passed those 12 bills. Uh, over in the Senate, they also took up 12 bills and were able to get them passed. Things, as was often the case, moved a little more quickly in the Senate, but on the whole, they have 24 bills working their way through the process. There was a goal at the outset that they would be done in two weeks. Do you think they'll meet that deadline? That appears to be the case. Uh, having passed those 24 bills this week, the Senate is prepared on Monday afternoon to take up uh, the House bills that were passed, and uh, the House plans to begin work at 9 a.m. on Monday uh, to take up the, the one dozen uh, Senate bills that were sent over. Probably by the end of the day on uh, Monday, all, almost all, if not all of the bills will have been passed and be on their way to Governor Fallon. To help them reach that deadline, there was a resolution passed in the House. Tell us a little bit about the goal of that move. The resolution passed in the House was what was called a special rule, and, and it did a number of things. Uh, first of all, it limited question and answer time for all of the bills that were considered on the House floor to a total of three hours. It also limited the number of points of order and points of inquiry uh, to only 10 per political party. And then finally, it prohibited amendments on the floor to any of the bills that were up for consideration. The idea was that this would expedite the process, and, and it appeared to work uh, this week when they considered those bills. Uh, the House was able to get through all of its bills uh, on Thursday, and there was actually some question and answer time left over. It appears that this is the first time in history lawmakers have not been allowed to offer amendments on bills. Is that true? That seems to be the case. I've been around the Capitol since 1996, and I can never remember a time uh, where amendments were prohibited on, on legislation when it was being heard on the floor. Some of the people in the Capitol who have been there much longer than I uh, can't remember such a thing either. Um, keep in mind, it is under uh, House Speaker T.W. Shannon uh, for the first time that we have sort of had this provision that allows for special rules to be applied to bills in, in a rather blanket fashion. They've, they've attempted in the past, uh, but never to such large groups of bills as they've done as, as they've done during the special session. So what will remain for the final few days or day of the session? Yes, it, it seems like every effort's going to be made on Monday uh, to finish up. I, I believe the, the Senate certainly will uh, when it convenes Monday afternoon. Um, the House may take a little longer. There are several, uh, several bills, one in particular, Senate Bill 1, related to certificates of merit in negligence cases, uh, which is not subject to the special rule. So more questions can be asked, and, and it will probably be debated greatly. Uh, but more than likely, things will conclude Monday uh, with them passing the necessary bills and, and sending them to Governor Fallon. Sean Ashley from eCapital, thank you. You're very welcome.